welcome everybody. Welcome to 2 Gig Tech Talk. I'm your host for today, Scott Wadsworth. I have me joining my fellow technicians, Zachary and Jerome. What's up, guys? I, I've never called them Zachary, though. You haven't? <laughs> no, I, I... Zachary all the time. There's other words Zachary I use, Anderson. but I can't... That's what it says gotta... right there on his... That's what yeah. it says right there. And I respond name, to right? everything. Exactly. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, I just like, I, I use different words, but you're, you're really nice about yours. All right. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. So, what we came here today do to do is talk about that DW10. We're wrapping up the last of our three in a series. We're going to talk about the actual installation of the DW10. So, Zach, you want to kick it off? So, what, what do I need to think about with uh, DW10 sensor placement? kind of things i need to think about there yeah sensor placement i mean it all depends on the use case but let's start with the simple ones right what the most commonly used which is our doors right it's going to go on a door almost all the time um that's why it's called the thin door window contact surprise surprise uh, but surprise. we use them on doors <laughs> all the time yeah. and you know it all just depends on the door now one of the things that i usually try and factor in is the placement on the door for me I always love near top edge, you know, out of the way, out of harm's way of getting knocked off. Um, the other thing to factor in is whether you're going to put the sensor on the door or the sensor on the trim or to the side. Ideally, for me, always sensor goes off to the side, not on the moving part, right? Because we've got a circuit in there. We don't want it banging around a ton, right? And then I'll usually put the magnet on the door. Now, in some cases, though, you run into trim and trim can be a bit of a nightmare with some of that. Uh, there have been a lot of scenarios where when I would install, I had to put the sensor on the door and the magnet on the trim. Uh, it's just because there was not enough real estate to actually put the adhesive. So, you know, those are things to consider. With windows, that gets a little easier, right? You can mm -hmm. usually put a sensor to the side of the window. Uh, one of the things I actually really enjoy, though, too, is that hardwired contact. In our first two videos, we talked about it both. Uh, being able to tie that hardwired input in. And I've used that a handful of times where someone really had some nice trim, didn't want me to, you know, notch out a little corner for a magnet or anything like that. Yeah, the $3,000 yeah, trim. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I love when someone's like, yeah, you like my new door? It sent me back $10,000. Yeah, you can install over there. I'm like, no, I, yeah. I don't want to touch it. I'm good. Anyway. <laughs> no, absolutely. Uh, and one other thing that you, you probably keep in mind is um, the, the distance for those sensors are... They say 300 feet open air line of sight, uh, oh, uh, 300 feet. But the truth is, is you're really just going to get about 100 to 150, right? So that placement of that sensor does matter if you're on that far end, right? So you want to try to keep that in mind just in case for that range as well. Yeah, that's a great point. In fact, I'm going to piggyback off that. That range, I know we've all seen it. We've all gotten the call. A text says, it's 30 feet away. I can't get it to work. We've gone through programming. And then we're finally like, oh, wait, what's your what's the house made of? Oh, it's chicken wire and plaster. And you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. So basically a giant RF jamming building, a Faraday cage. Just that yeah. Would, you know? That you're like, oh, that explains a lot. So I've... like keeping that distance in mind, I think is important. I'm glad you brought that up because I forgot to mention that. It's a great point. Well, I've, I've done a, quite a few buildings that are like churches, and I love churches to death. My issue, though, is they're all concrete center block filled. And Oh, filled concrete. Yeah, they're, oh, goodness. they're not going Mexico, anywhere. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> they're not going anywhere except for down. They're going to sink a little bit. But um, and, and trying to get wireless range there is super... Um, hard so what i recommend normally in those situations is we have repeaters that can repeat all of our sensors um, and we'll talk about that in one of our future videos but definitely keep that in mind because it is a huge issue you run into a lot of buildings with excellent excellent yeah that's all good stuff too um so so we got the so we got the sensor but what about the magnet drum do I have to worry about the magnet where that goes? You do. Uh, so we talked about a few types of situations you run into, right? Uh, where you're placing the magnet, how you're placing it, all of that fun stuff. One of the biggest issues I've run into quite often 
Uh, and I'm in, I'm in California, so I don't really have to worry about too much out here with, with doors. But there are a lot of people that are building newer houses that are putting metal doors on their house, right? So their front doors are a lot sturdier and a lot less uh, um, fragile. I don't think wooden doors are fragile, but that's a whole different thing. Um, but magnets on doors are horrible, especially metal ones. Because they will absolutely magnetize that whole door and then you have a problem with it. So do keep in mind there are options where you can do uh, standoffs. They're pretty much everywhere that you can actually just stand off uh, the magnet from the door. So it doesn't magnetize that door. Uh, and that's a huge thing you'll have to worry about with the magnet. All right, excellent. Yeah, so yeah, so just make sure that you're lining that magnet up too, really, oh, right? Yeah. The correct side of the actual sensor. Don't put the sensor backwards, and then uh, yeah, that can make it more difficult to uh, to get a the contact to work. Really correct. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying uh, if yeah. I install it improperly, <laughs> yeah, you need to. It yep. won't work. Have the little le ridges, the little ridges line up oh, with the magnet, that side there, you know, and make sure that that's uh, going that way. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's happened a few times. <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, well, thanks for joining me today. That's really all we have time for today. So uh, if you're interested, uh, ladies and gentlemen out there watching more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care. Take care, gentlemen. Thank you for joining. You too. You have a good rest of your day. I'll take care. Thank you.